subtract the second rational expression, we really want to add the opposite. We want to distribute our subtraction sign to each term in the numerator, which gives us a negative 1. Now we factor each denominator and try and find the lowest common denominator between the two fractions. The lowest common denominator is x minus 1 times x minus 1 times x plus 1. We know this since these two denominators share a common factor of x minus 1. The other factor for this denominator is x minus 1, and the other factor for this denominator is x plus 1. We multiply each fraction by the missing factors of the lowest common denominator. For the first fraction, we distribute 6x to the quantity x plus 1. We'll get 6x squared plus 6x. For the second fraction, we'll have negative 1 times the quantity x minus 1. We really just change these two signs, so we'll have negative x plus 1. Now that we have two fractions with common denominators, we can add the numerators together. We just add the like terms. When we add the like terms of 6x and negative x together, we'll get 6x squared plus 5x plus 1. Now remember, we have a new numerator here, and let's see if we can factor it. We want factors of positive 6 that sum to 5. Well, yes, that would be 3 and 2. This would be the factored form if we use factoring by grouping. But notice that this doesn't help us out. None of these factors appear in our denominator, so we can't simplify anymore. Our final answer would be 6x squared plus 5x plus 1 divided by the factors of this denominator.